Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a back to school haul. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Deanna and I'm a homeschooling mom of five kids now. I'm actually nursing my newest little baby who is two and a half weeks old. Here on my channel, I like to talk about homeschooling, homemaking, as well as my faith in Christ. So if that interests you, I would love for you to subscribe to see my future videos. But today I'm gonna to be sharing with y'all a big back to school, school supply, homeschooling haul. <laughs> and so I went ahead and spread everything out and I'm gonna share with you here in this next clip all of the different things that I purchased for our kids for the new school year. I did purchase a few more items than I have in previous years because we did just have a new baby and I was wanting to have a few items on hand that could be um, some fun activities for the kids to do on days when things are getting a little crazy or um, just stressful. I can pull out some of these fun activities and it'll provide the kids with something new and exciting to do um, on days when I'm struggling. <laughs> so with all that said, let me go ahead and jump in and share with you our back to school haul. Okay, so here's everything laid out on the floor. And I'm gonna start down here at this end. Um, I shared in a previous video some books I had purchased for my kids, so I'm not gonna um, go over those again, but if you wanna see that video, I will link it up here in the cards as well as in the description box if you wanna watch that. But here are the books I purchased for my six-year-old daughter, um, the books I got for my 10-year-old and my eight-year-old. And then back here are a few other books I picked up um, on Amazon. This one, What is the Constitution? What is the Declaration of Independence? Um, if you lived in America when there was slavery. And this one, is by Dave Ramsey and it's talking all about teaching kids how to use their money wisely, how to save, how to spend wisely. So I'm going to be reading through this collection of stories. There's six stories in this little treasury. So I'm looking forward to reading those with the kids this year as part of our morning basket as well. So that is it for the books. Then most everything else in this section is kind of the traditional school supplies. Um, back here, I have some more drawing paper. The kids like this both for um, drawing as well as painting. My older daughter asked for some more colored pencils, so I got another pack of colored pencils, um, some more Elmer's glue, a big old pack of tape, which we've already broken into, as you can see. Um, but this is great because we go through tape pretty quick in our house as well. I got a couple small drawing pads. The girls had asked for these, so I got um, two different blank uh, drawing pads. And then back here, I got a lined notebook for my 10-year-old daughter. And this year, I wanna start teaching her how to take notes. So I'm gonna have her practice taking notes this year in some of her subject areas, because that's a good skill to know as you go into high school and college, so that is for her. This year I decided to get pencil boxes for the four kids who will be um, participating in school. We also have a newborn baby who is two weeks old. So I only got four pencil boxes and then I decided to get a few new supplies to go in their pencil box. And then I already have some school supplies here at home as well that I'm gonna be adding to it. Um, I decided to get the three older kids some new scissors. So I got three pairs of scissors, a couple new mechanical pencils. This is actually the only thing I bought for myself were some little post-it notes. I got um, four new sticks of glue. And this year I decided to try out these little retractable erasers. So they have just one giant eraser in there. So each of the kids will get one of these. Um, they're all gonna get a pencil sharpener. We already have a blue one, so I just bought three more to go in the kids' pencil boxes. Um, then I got a new pack of fine tip dry erase markers. We use these a lot for math, so I got a new pack of these. Then I also got um, each of the older three kids some washable paint. So this year in science, we are gonna be doing botany and doing some nature journaling. So I thought it would be really nice to have a good variety of 
um, washable paints so the kids can embellish their drawings and really make them fun and colorful this year. So that is something I got for each of the older kids. So that is everything that I kind of bought for their pencil boxes. And then now I'm gonna move kind of back here to this section. All right, so back here, this is another art medium that we have never tried before, but I've heard great things about. Um, they're called quick sticks, and essentially they are paint sticks. So they dry really fast. And um, so my mother-in-law actually bought us this pack of quick sticks, which is a little bit more of like a medium um, diameter. And then I purchased the thin quick sticks that are just a little bit skinnier. So between those two, the kids will have lots of these paint sticks that again, I think will be a great way to add some color to their different um, art and drawing projects this year. So I'm really excited to use these with the kids. So those are the quick sticks. Then over here, I have a couple different board game and just kind of fun kind of game activities. I bought these math cubes uh, with my six-year-old and my three-year-old in mind. And they also come with different activity cards that you can use the math blocks with. And so um, on the back here, you can kind of see some of the different activity cards that they come with. So I think this will just be a fun um, kind of activity for my toddler to do as well as my six-year-old and even the older kids might get into it as well. Um, so that is one thing. And this is actually got at Target and it was 20% off when I purchased it. So um, I'm really excited to find that. I really like learning resources. They have a lot of great um, educational things for, um, for school aged kids as well as homeschoolers. So I really like their company quite a bit. Um, this is the other thing that I also found at Target by Learning Resources, and this is a time activity set. So right now my six-year-old is currently learning how to tell time on a, an analog clock. So when I saw this, I thought, oh, this is perfect. This would be great for her to practice her time-telling skills. On the back here, you can see the different things that are included. It has the clock. It has some matching cards. It has some um, dice that are included and some areas where you can also draw the hands of the clock. So it has lots of great components that are included. So I picked this up with her in mind especially, but also my older kids. This would just be a great way for them to have a little bit of a refresher when it comes to telling time on an analog clock because um, most of the clocks we have these days are digital. So I thought this would be a fun activity for the whole family. Then back here, I picked up this game. It's called Five Second Rule Junior, and we have not obviously played this yet, um, but essentially the premise of the game is you draw a category card from the box, and then you have five seconds to um, name three things in that category. So for example, um, this one says zoo animals. So you have to name three zoo animals in five seconds, and if you can, then you get to advance on the board, and if you can't, then it's the next player's turn. So I just thought that this would be a fun game to add to our board game collection, and I think the kids will enjoy playing this this year. And then the last little game that I got is also by Learning Resources. This is one I purchased off of Amazon, and this one I got with my six-year-old in mind, and this is a sight word game. So it comes with several different fly swatters, and then you are practicing swatting the flies, which have sight words on them. And so I think she's really gonna have fun playing this game, and it comes with 220 different sight words. So I think this will be an excellent game for her and something that she can play with the older kids as well. Then down here, I picked up two of these packs of these math dice. These were from the Target Dollar Spot, and they just have different sized dice on them. I thought this would be a really fun way to practice addition, subtraction, multiplication, things like that. So went ahead and picked those up, two of those. Then over here, I got these off of Amazon for the kids. Um, these are these little fidget poppers I've heard so much about. And um, so we're going to give these a try. These might be a fun thing for them to do while I'm doing a read aloud. If it's not too loud, <laughs> we'll have to see how loud they are. Um, but I got one of each color here. All of them are squares. So each of the kids, each of the four older kids will have one of these little fidget poppers. Um, down here, 
I got this activity book for my three-year-old. We have some of those do -a dot markers, little paint markers that make the dots. And so these are different activity sheets that he can use to put the dots inside of these different sheets. It has lots of different pictures. And then it also has um, all of the alphabet letters as well. So it's semi-educational, but also just a fun kind of craft activity for him to do that can help keep him occupied while I'm working with the older kids. So that is something I bought with him in mind. This is a box of new Play-Doh that I found on clearance at Target in their um, their summer section. So I went ahead and grabbed this and it has 30 small tubes of Play-Doh. I think the kids are really gonna have fun with that. I also picked up this large case of Crayola Model Magic at Hobby Lobby. And um, my son especially loves making things out of this Model Magic and then the kids enjoy painting it as well. So this comes with four packages of the Model Magic, and I think this will be something they'll really enjoy doing this year as well. Then down here, I also found these at the Target Dollar Spot. I already peeled the tags off, um, but these little plastic flashcard containers are so nice. They are very versatile. I like to use these for small card games and different little games that we have, things like Uno, or um, rat -a -tat cat lots of different small card games fit perfectly into this little container and it can save you space so you're not having to keep um, large board game boxes around they're also really great for different manipulatives so i might put um, these math dice inside of one of these little boxes um, but yeah they're great for a variety of manipulatives and things like that and then of course flashcards as well so i went ahead and bought several more of these for this year because um, you can't really find them unless it's back to school time. So I went ahead and bought all the clear ones that they had left <laughs> at my local Target. So I got several of those. Then down here, um, I picked up these bristle blocks for my three-year-old especially. I wanted to have some, some new things for him this school year that I can pull out for him that he can play with while I'm working with the older kids on their schoolwork. So these were a really great price on Amazon. And so I will link these in the description box if you want to check them out for yourself. But I went ahead and grabbed um, two of these sets. Um, each of them has 112 pieces. So those will give him lots of opportunities to build all kinds of different things out of these blocks. Um, so that is something I picked up for him. And then the last two items that are here are two new storage containers. This large storage container will um, house all these bristle blocks. And then inside is a smaller kind of shoe box sized storage container. And that one I will use to hold all of these math cubes and the little flash cards. So that is everything that I picked up for our new school year. And I can't wait for our back to school day, which will be the first Monday in August. And the kids will get to see all of this fun new stuff and um, just really excited for our new school year. So. so that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing all of our back to school things. I will have as many of the items I can linked in the description box if you wanna check them out for your own family. I hope that y'all have enjoyed your summer. And thanks as always for watching. Hope you have a great day, bye.